Hello my friend, Carl Michael Pilsliss here. Excited to be with you again today. Excited to be part of inspiring better business, this global vision reaching around the world. And very excited about my book, The ABC Leader. This is German version, but look out for the English version very soon, The ABC Leader. We're talking about 26 non-negotiable characteristics of a true leader. 26 things every leader needs to get under their belt to be truly not just successful but significant. See, I don't really teach success. I teach people how to become a person of significance. That's what it's all about. So it's very important to be authentic, to have belief, character, dedication, and enthusiasm which leads me to my uh, quality today which is the letter F like freedom. A leader has to be free. You can't truly lead others if you're not free as a person. So to lead other people into freedom you gotta experience the freedom yourself. John Maxwell one of my great mentors says, you cannot truly lead another person if you really need that person. That may sound a little brutal at first, of not needing a person, but think about it. If you're, if you're dependent on somebody, if you depend on somebody, if you need somebody, uh, you're not truly free. You're, you're always going to be a little fearful, maybe even manipulative trying to manipulate, etc. But that's not what true leaders do. True leaders don't manipulate. True leaders lead from personal freedom, leading other people into freedom. So you have to be truly free. Now, we talked about dependence. Uh, so what is the goal? Is it independence? I love what Stephen Covey said, and you should also get his book if you are, if you haven't already maybe you already have if you are if you are a great leader you have certainly read his books uh, the seven habits of highly effective people he says the goal is not really independence the goal is interdependence See, he says when we when we are babies we're totally dependent on mom and dad as little children we're totally dependent on our parents but then we, we reach adolescence, we reach uh, the crazy age of teenage, uh, which I have uh, six children, so I know all about the teenagers, but they want to be totally independent, you know. They, they want to act like they don't care what mom and dad says, they want to do their own thing, total independence. But then when we, we become truly mature people, we realize independence is not the real goal either we have to reach independence, we gotta be independent, but the real goal is that we realize we're interdependent. I need you, you need me, we need each other, we cannot function without other people, we need a team, we need mentors, etc. We need one another, that's true, but you cannot be dependent on a single person. You must realize you have to be free. You have to be free to lead other people. So let's talk about this real quick. What kind of freedom do you need? I believe as a leader you also have to say no. You have to have the freedom to say no. I love what Zig Ziglar said. He says uh, we say no to the good so we can say yes to the best. See. Uh, sometimes we have to say no because there's something better. I can't say yes to everything. Right now I'm doing these videos and I have a big family so I'm saying gladly saying yes to do these videos but at the same time I'm saying no to something else that I could do right now. Like you know spending time with the family right now or playing tennis right now or doing whatever else I could do right now or working on something else but I'm saying yes to something I think is really important so I'm willing to say no to something else. As leaders we must be able and willing 
to say no. And that's okay. We can't say yes to everything and everyone. If people say yes to everything and everyone, they're not really committed to anything because they're everywhere. So it's important you need to realize you have the freedom to say no. You also have the freedom to make a difference. Now this is very important. As leaders, we are difference makers. We are not there to please everyone. You can't please everyone. To try to please everyone uh, is a, a first class ticket to nowhere. You can't please everyone. You, mu you must make uh, the decision, I am here to make a difference, not an impression. Do you want to be impressive? Or you want to be a difference maker. A true leader uh, doesn't try to be impressive. A lot of them are impressive, but not because they try to be impressive. They try to make a difference. And by making a difference, they change the world. So, do you, are you trying to be impressive? Or are you trying to make a difference? As a leader, you also must have the freedom to do nothing. Sometimes, to do nothing. Right. See, sometimes you got to make the distinction, not sometimes, you have to make the distinction between efficiency and effectiveness. Effectiveness is what Stephen Covey talks about, means doing the right thing at the right time for the right purpose. Efficiency is doing things right, which is also important, but you must make sure you're doing the right things before you make sure that you're doing it right. You understand? very important. So sometimes say no and sometimes say, uh, you know, I'm doing nothing right now. I'm not answering that phone call. I'm not answering that email right now. I'm not urgency uh, driven. I'm not an urgency addict. Some people have their phone, their device, and they always have to act on it because they are addicted to urgency. The leader is free to do nothing sometimes and say hey I'm not gonna be distracted right now I am going to be effective right now very important a, a leader who is free also enjoys the moment and is happy in the moment and has the freedom to risk see risking is important calculated risks are very important so are you free only if you're truly free, you can lead others effectively into freedom. Only if you're too, truly free, you can act out of no fear. See, if you're not free, you're going to be fearful. If you're not free, you're going to be manipulative. If you're truly free, you can lead others out of love into freedom. Take that risk to lead others into freedom and you will see greatness in their lives and you will be a person of great influence, greatness and true significance. That's my prayer for you today.